Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot card reading and astrology forecast for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is an energy reading, so I'm going to describe energies and you apply them to where they resonate in your life. Above all, this is your reading. There's always an extended reading, and I do hope that you'll join me for that for a multitude of reasons, not the least of which they're always the bomb. And I would love for you to share in the information that comes across. So those links are down below in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section and I'll also attach it somewhere up here at the end of the video. You just click right on it and go right there. If you really, really love this reading, please share that love and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can get notified when I upload all of your favorite content because I do 12 videos every single week, one for each zodiac sign. So your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising, rising sign, all those energies will be right there for you every single week. And sometimes you resonate more with your rising sign or your moon sign than you do your sun sign. It's just how things are playing out. Capricorn, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. And you can find me live on Astrology Motivation every day, Monday through Friday, I do a live tarot card reading. I would love for you to join and share your voice with me. So uh, check that out. You can add Astrology Motivation here on YouTube and find it really easy. I'll also attach a link somewhere above as well. Let's get into the reading. I got the cards in my hand. But we got to go over the astrology first. Okay, so what's happening in Capricorn? So in your native house of Capricorn, there is Pluto and there is Mercury. I'm, I'm reading my little sheet here. Pluto is at 28 degrees Capricorn. Now you guys who are born toward the end of Capricorn season have been experiencing this for a while because Pluto sits his butt in one place and stays there for a while. Now, what does that mean? Your life is changing dramatically and dynamically, You're especially because Pluto is conjunct your natal sun. This could even mean that you're being taken more seriously or that you find that you are more fierce and even to a certain degree ruthless when it comes to knowing who you are and being that regardless. And just that alone is going to change your life. Yeah. Yeah, because so many of us are more passive or try to please people and this would not be the time that you do those kind of things, right? So there are going to be dynamic changes that are happening for y'all. And I'll tell you this right now, they're probably just starting to happen because the energy is just caught up to you. You can really see this impact with Capricorns that are in early or mid Capricorn season. Their lives have already changed dramatically because Pluto has already conjuncted their natal sun. So now it's your turn and there will be major life changes that are happening. Um, that's gonna last a long term that we've, we've talked about that before. Not so long term is the Mercury conjunction and Mercury right now, cause Mercury moves pretty fast. I think it lasts about three weeks in each sign. So Mercury is going to be conjuncting the natal sun of those of you who are born around 18 degrees Capricorn, which is mid to late Capricorn season. Um, check your natal charts if you're 18 degrees, anywhere between 15 degrees and 20 to 21 degrees, um, this energy is conjuncting your natal sun. What does that mean for you? It means brightness, clarity of mind, clarity of speech. This is a fantastic time to talk and speak or public speaking, give a presentation, present yourself, anything where you have to be seen and communicate, it's going to come out real crystal clear and your mind is going to be clear too. So this is a wonderful opportunity for you guys to share your thoughts, put your thoughts out there and be noticed and really, really well received for this because there's just such brightness and clarity to everything that you're doing. So what then, um, by the end of the week, let's say this. Oh, no, no. You know what? By the end of the week, Mercury is still not completely conjunct uh, Pluto. As of Mon... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. That's not true. As of Monday, Mercury is conjunct Pluto. And that is going to be conjunct the natal suns, which is at the end of... Uh, so, so Mercury is catching up to Pluto. So by the end of... I'm sorry, I misspoke. Um, by the end of... No, no, no. By Monday of this... this, this by Monday is um, um, the conjunction between Mercury and Pluto is beginning and it'll get tighter over the next couple of days. 
What does that mean? Mercury conjunct Pluto. Let me, I wrote this down. Um, game changing information or game changing conversations. Things that will change your mind drastically about something, pieces of information or things that you've heard, revelations. Um, speaking with authority and really being able to hit somebody with a power packed, death defying kind of points that nobody will argue with, taking authority, especially with your mind, being able to make decisions, even hard decisions, difficult decisions, you'll be able to make them quickly. And that's gonna be happening to those uh, Capricorns that are born late in the season. That's late Capricorn. So if your sun is um, about 28 degrees, between like say 25 and 30 degrees Capricorn, this is going to impact you. In fact, those of you who are like 25 degrees, it'll hit you a little bit earlier than Monday, just so that you know. Um, what is Saturn doing? Because we have to pay attention to Saturn. That's your ruling dignitary and it'll always impact you. Right now, Saturn is at 25 degrees Aquarius and it is trying the moon today. That will not last long. That's just like peaceful situations. It's a great time to talk to family. Um, but toward the end of the week, there is something that I wanna bring your attention to, and that is um, Saturn will be semi-square to Chiron, which could mean that there is some aches and pains that you're going to have to deal with because Chiron is in Aries. Now, now, um, what I would do if I were you is I would check your natal chart to see if, if where, which, which one of your 12 houses Aries rules, because that will be the potential for maybe accidents happening or maybe these aches and pains to take over. Usually Chiron in Aries is, is, is pain with the head, head pains, or even like, like blood pains or bruises. This is only a semi-square, so it's not going to be horrible, but there is more of a mm, like chance for irritation and maybe um, minor injuries. Just FYI, because that's going to last a few weeks. Um, and that's all y'all, right? Because this is what Saturn is going through. Um, so just FYI, be particularly aware of that. If you find more bruises on yourself or you're banging your head more, it's because of that of that transit and it's just something that has to, it's gonna last a few weeks, FYI. So let's get into the cards. We have something that you're defending yourself against because we start off with the nine of wands. And I think you're getting defensive about something because you have invested a lot of time and energy into it and you thought the investment would come back to you, but it seems like you're at a standstill and nothing is moving forward. I don't know what part of your life this is in, but it's getting to you because you've taken a lot not a lot of knocks here and this could be your education and it still seems like you're kind of stagnated or confused or not really understanding something and so that is offering up its own fair share of frustration. The hanged man is taking time to see things from a different perspective. So this is because this is major arcana Capricorn. It is saying it is faded. You're kind of having to work out, okay, how do I use what I know? Or I see opportunities in front of me, but how do I access them? Um, this stagnation is intentional. It's faded. It's, there's just a lot of, you can't really fight this process right now. You're supposed to be learning. And I think maybe that's pissing you off because honestly, this nine of wands is like, maybe I'm sick of learning or I don't want to learn anymore. I'm tired of being the learner. You want to take a more authoritative role, especially with the astrology. So that could be why it's rubbing you the wrong way now, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everything, that everything is going wrong. For many of you, there could just be a sense of why hasn't this come in yet? Why am I still waiting for this? So let's ask the cards. Why am I still waiting? Why am I still waiting? <laughs> because you choose to? Because the first card that came out is the fool, which is you're still waiting because you refuse to take a leap of faith. You're still waiting because you're still expecting things to make sense and be planned and be practical. You don't have to wait even a single more second, even a single second more, excuse me, 
if you are willing to take the leap of faith, but because you have decided that you don't and that you need all this extra bits and bobs about what the heck is going on, bottom line, you're, you're not taking that leap of faith and you are sort of stagnating yourself because you're too defensive about the opportunity that's coming in. You need too many particulars lined up when God just wants you to take a leap of faith and figure it out as you go. So if you're willing to take the leap of faith, I'm telling you right now, you can get yourself out of the situation right now. Yes, you can. We have this in reverse, so being stuck. And this is usually being stuck in fear, being stuck in mental disorders, being stuck in your brain, being stuck in a situation that is causing you pain and, and you can't figure a way out of it. Um, yeah, and confusion, wow. This is, this is really like something is tormenting your brain right it's almost like you're stuck in a fog that now mercury will help to clarify things especially for those specific capricorns that i mentioned mercury will help to clarify things for you but ultimately this was something that was very confusing and i would like to know what put you in this fog or what made things unclear there are worries doubts and fears here that's making you question everything whoa okay so what are they supposed to do let's get a moon card why are they questioning everything what's what's really going on here um okay um that was straightforward it's time to take action so there's a sense of it's time to make a decision it, it if there's nothing that looks right then there's no wrong answer and i think that that's what a lot of people don't understand if there's nothing that really appeals or looks correct, it's because there's no wrong answer. You just have to leap at the one that for some reason your intuition pulls you toward. Because the cards are saying it is time to take action on this thing that you have not wanted to make a choice on because you're giving too much consideration to each thing. You're worrying too much about, um, is, this, is this right? And you're not allowing your intuition enough room to just say, this is the one you jump for. You know, it's like you're, you're kind of caught up in your head and it's causing its own variation of confusion. Then we have balanced spirituality and practicality. You lack faith. Spirituality and practicality is out of balance. And I'm willing to bet that for you guys, it's too much practicality. And where's the faith? That's the problem. That's the problem. I don't know what made you lose faith. Now, something, honestly, could, and please leave the comments below. I love to know what you guys have to say. It could very much have, um, it, could be, it could be a situation where something did make you lose faith in it, or your faith was disappointed. So that's, that's why it's hard to just, be, you're trying to make sense of things. You're, but you're, it's like you're trying to control fog. You're trying to grab fog. You can't, you can't do it. There, there is no way to tangibly make this be controlled. And so the only way forward is faith. And I know that's very uncomfortable for you guys. Uh, communication is key. So we have underlying energy here because that's the position it came out in. This is a sense of there's got to be talking or research or learning or ed education. And maybe, maybe that's it. You decided that, okay, I got to get educated. I got to go back to school. I got to, I got to learn. I got to learn. I got to learn. But somehow it's making things even more confusing for you. And ultimately that's because this is all about creativity and you taking command of your own of your own way to create and say, I, 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 I don't need a rule book. I need to follow my instinct and intuition and do the hard work to create what I intuitively know I need to bring into the world. It's really not about looking for something that's already been done or looking for a model that's already been created. This is new ground for you. You have to leap in and figure things out and make decisions and allow your creative self to to happen as it goes that's the answer to your question it is time to take action now for those of you who lost faith in a situation 
That is why you are hesitating. You don't want to jump. And ultimately, I think honesty is best. You just got to be honest then. Communication is key. You've got to tell somebody, well, this is what I'm going through. Like, this is, this is why I don't trust this situation. And, and find information. Ask for the information to come in. This is very specific. Okay, so... The, okay, okay. So we have maybe proceeding alone by yourself, moving forward single. This is Cancerian energy. This could be a single person. Somebody who is single. Somebody who is... I don't know who this person is. If this is somebody that you know, or this has to do with your family, moving in a direction that is like like deciding to go it alone, but make progress by yourself, or just value, you being valued. You're trying to make progress on your own personal value, or up the ticket of how much you're worth, of what your value is. You're trying to pull it forward. Hold on, we have the Four of Swords. So you're still thinking about a situation that didn't go so well in the past. You're reflecting on issues or situations that don't set right with you. And then there's judgment here. So a judgment finally comes down, it finally comes through. That's real general. I need, I need to dig down into specifics. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is this a single person or a single mother that you've been thinking about a lot? Call them. Call them. Or I say single because nine of pentacles, which could very well be you, is somebody who usually stands in their own power and knows their own worth. Um, and then is very will, oh, is very willing to accept their worth and their value and not willing to accept less. There could be a lot of reminiscence in your mind right now. Or, oh, what the cards are saying is you're going to reflect on this moment probably for the rest of your life. Because once you take the action you're supposed to, it will clear your mind and make you realize you're capable of another move. Right now you've been moving like a chess piece, restricted to specific ways of moving. This is gonna show you, you can move in a different way, in a different direction. You have more skills than you've realized. And that is actually going to cause a big breakthrough in your life and make you change. The judgment card is here saying there is sort of this big revelation or realization or acceptance about something about yourself after reflection. And it's what you're going through right now that in hindsight is gonna make everything clear to you. I think it is taking the leap of faith. Learning that when you're in this situation, it, it just means you have to go for it. That that's the feeling of it's time to leap. Damn. We've got a lot of major arcana here. So your situation right now, and I'm not surprised since Pluto is interacting with so much energy and by the end of the week, it'll be interacting with uh, Mercury as well. There is a sense of your mind opening and expanding in ways that you could not have predicted. Um, okay, so bring this into say reality, God, like how does this translate real time? Um, it also means that there's a lot of fate going on here. And we knew that from the beginning. So hold on, hold on. The lovers are here and the chariot. Are you moving forward with a wedding or a marriage or deciding something about family or making a decision about family? Or there is maybe people that you wanna set up with somebody in your family or there's just this sense of of uh, moving forward and proceeding with a love connection with something that you have desired and something that you care a great deal about something that you're something or someone that you're attracted to beyond belief deciding to make progress and build a family with this person we have maybe a wedding in store or just a gathering or get together or finding who you really belong with three of cups means there's celebration here and four of pentacles means everything is locked in there could be some sense of 
decide like this is all coming out in the future so basically it's saying you got to go for it whatever doubts or craziness is going on in the brain stop it because you you move forward move away from that 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 delusion in the brain that everything has to make sense it doesn't there's happiness here or there we're talking about something that is being planned a party a get together and you have doubts about it before pentacles is things are locked in and maybe that's why you don't like you're starting to get nervous so this could be cold feet it, even if you're not getting married this could be cold feet because you just feel like you're already been like locked and loaded like you're locked in and committed but this is happy and joyful and there's some sort of celebration or gathering of friends you're getting together with and it's almost like in some ways like it meant to be meant to be i don't know if you are i'm gonna say this no i'm not gonna say it i'm not gonna say it. what else do you want me to say god because i gotta go the extended but what else do you want me to say because there's a little piece of clarity that i need to give them before we move on this is a new opportunity there's something here about a new opportunity from somebody who is executive you might trying to be fix somebody up or set somebody up or deciding yourself to take a new job or position or this is somebody it's like in a gathering of friends there is a connection that's going to click in place and be made and position you right near or in front of somebody who has the power to offer you something brand new this is a new opportunity and it's coming through connections it's like trust your friends and let them connect you or trust in your own intuition and connect your friends there's something here going on with friendships which doesn't surprise me because saturn is in aquarius let's go to the extended the links are all around you i'll see you guys there